We are about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Chargers. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway in Southern California. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. So an early wake-up call there leads to a quick second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. And yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. On fourth down, Herbert. And Allen's got it. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And the Dolphins' rush gets home. Down he goes. It was Melvin Ingram that time who shot in to bring him down. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Herbert now. He'll find Williams on the slam. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. On second down, Eckler. And he's got some space here. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. He'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. They'll roll him out right. Touchdown! Gerald Everett, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Chargers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away and here comes a return from the middle of the end zone 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he... Dropped at the 23. <laughs> Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 23. <laughs> Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Another carry now for Edmonds. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. From the gun, it's Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now they'll throw with Tungabailoa. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second down, Mostert. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And able to ball. He put it on the carpet, a fumble. And this is recovered by the Chargers. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up second down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. To throw again on second down. Herbert on the screen. This is Eckler. 
Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll be corralled right around the 34. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been... Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings us one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. And he comes back with one complete. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Raheem Mostert, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Charger drive about to get going. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. A big play there just before halftime. And even 50 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Over the middle, it's complete. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Herbert. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We'll give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. They're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Tua, the final shot before half. And going deep for Hill. And got his man complete. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? So they grab the lead just before half with a clock reading 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. How about snatching things right at the end and grabbing a little bit of control? What a great way to go into the locker room. It's similar to a boxer flurrying in the last 30 seconds of a round and stealing the round. Great job. 
So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. Here's Tua. Got a man here. It's Wilson. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A gain of 37. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their aggressiveness. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And that throw behind his man, he missed him incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Throwing again on second and 10. Tua got his man complete over the middle. That's Wilson. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Here's Mostert. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Again, it's Mostert, and he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 21-7. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taking it about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Herbert. He's got this to Williams complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 32 on the play. I can't stand 
Eckler now between the tackles. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. It's Eckler again. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Play action. It's Herbert. Sliding out of the pocket. And that is incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Here we go on fourth. Herbert trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. All right, work with me, partner. This is a classic understatement. Their execution has been very poor. Last three drives, two interceptions and a fumble. Winning football? We're not seeing it right now. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Being chased out left. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that... Not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? On second and ten, the ball back with Herbert. Out left, he's got it to Everett. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Here's Herbert. Got a man, it's complete, it's Palmer. He's got the first down and more. Touchdown, Chargers! Josh Palmer, 36 yards! And the Chargers take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Oh, and it's no good. He tugged it wide left, and that will keep our score right where it is. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. The last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not quite no harm, no foul, but the interception, hey, shake it off, move on. Hasn't cost your team the lead, and now it's time to rebound. And the quarterback and his teammates, they can add to the lead with a good drive here. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. 
And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Now on fourth down, they throw the deep ball, but it winds up to be incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. On first and ten, Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Herbert off of play action. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The Chargers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third and a few inches. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And the Chargers are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. Herbert back to the air. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. He'll get only two there at its second and goal. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Second and goal from inside the five. Eckler. Touchdown, Chargers! So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. They'll have Herbert try and throw for it. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted a tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. And two are going to slide to a halt, but he will have the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. On first and ten, it's Moster. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Meanwhile, Tua's throw is taken in by Waddle. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. 
Couple of Alabama guys here, two at a waddle for the Miami first. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Going to the air, Tugga Bailoa. On the right side open is Kosicki. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Here we go. Here we go. 50 man. 50 man. Let's go. Second down, Gaskin. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. turns into six points the other way disastrous and many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation turn it over for the offense but i had a defensive coordinator recently tell me we see that as a passive play we don't do that anymore we want the ball in our hands and we want to head the other way it's probably also instinct a lot of times if you see a lot of green grass ahead of you go ahead and grab it it's the exact right play to do that's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught Field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now, but let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium. And this is taken in at the five. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So right back to square one. Tied at 28 as he kicks it away. 
And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And what a return as he brings this one all the way back to the 25-yard line. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. Now Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. One more time with Mostert. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget all time they just likely won this thing in regulation and that score in this time frame that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie isn't it <laughs> out of nowhere almost it appears they get it done how about that score the finishes like this this is why we love sports this is why we love the game of football so glad that we got to be here to watch this one Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Yeah, a slightly more difficult attempt here from the 20. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. 